new war. The Viet Cong simultaneously attacked just about every major city and town in South Vietnam. In one day, they increased the scope of the war dramatically. Howard Tuckner was there. The war came to Saigon early in the morning of January 31st. The first target was the symbol of the American presence in Vietnam, the United States Embassy. About 20 Viet Cong had invaded the embassy compound and were now battling American Marines and military police. The Viet Cong had penetrated to the center of what was supposed to be the most secure city in Vietnam. On the fifth day of the battle for Hue, the Marines moved out from the fortified army compound that withstood the original attack and advanced into the empty, abandoned buildings of what was Hue University. Hue, the ancient imperial city. It is to Vietnamese what old Boston is to Americans, where many of its country's leaders are born or educated, where many returned to celebrate Tet a week ago when the fighting began where many remain hidden in the unknown interior of What's the hardest part of it? Not knowing where they are, that's the worst thing. Riding around the running the sewers and the gutters anywhere. Be anywhere. Just hope you can stay alive day to day. Everybody just wants to go back home and go to school. That's about it. You lost any friends? Quite a few. We lost one the other day. The whole thing stinks really. For days now, they've been fighting their way, bloody inch by inch, down Leloy Street. And all that time, they could see, down the street, a flagpole. And on it was a Viet Cong flag. Much is left in shambles. As the Marines advance, building after building, the North Vietnamese retreat, building after building, giving up nothing without a fight. Still going on, just a few yards away, Marines have risked their lives to pull down the symbol. No one is quite sure where the American flag came from in the middle of a battle. Like so many things, when you need something, someone just happens to have it. There was no bugler, and the other Marines were too busy to salute, but not often is a flag so proudly raised. All right, give me this, We're supposed to be uh, hard charges, man. We're supposed to go out and get them. I think if they pull a, a good search and destroy up here, we could clear them. Well, I don't know. You get out there 50 feet and you're lost already in the jungle. I mean, it looks pretty clear from here. It's just a constant siege here, and you don't you don't know exactly when the incoming's coming, and uh, you don't know how much it's going to be from day to day. And... <sighs> How would you compare it to other places that you've served in Vietnam? Well, this is, uh, this is the worst I've been at. Uh, it's, uh, you just, most of the time you can't get anything done because there's, there's too much incoming. You can't get out much at all. It's just too dangerous to get out. And, uh, 